Well, in this video, I'm go I am going to show you three common mistakes that I used to make all the time when I started learning about exponents. And honestly, if I'm not careful, I still do make these mistakes. So let me show them to you so that where I failed, you shall succeed. The first thing that I used to do is that I got creative and just wrote my own properties about the exponents. The problem was that my properties were completely wrong. Look at this here. I am multiplying two numbers. They have different base numbers and the same exponent. This property of multiplication says that I can multiply the base numbers and to the result of that multiplication, I can then apply the exponent. But if if I'm adding, if I'm performing addition, I cannot do that. I cannot add the base numbers and to the result of that addition, then apply the exponent. This simply does not equal this. When you're, wi when you're working with addition, you cannot perform something similar that you do in the property of multiplication. Let me show you here. I want to show you that a to the power of n plus b to the power of n simply is not equal to a plus b, all of that in parentheses raised to the power of n. If that were true, then 3 squared plus 4 square squared should be equal to 3 plus 4 squared. Now 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16 and 9 plus 16 equals 25. Now on the other side, I have 3 plus 4 squared, which equals 7 squared, and that is 49. And 25 is not the same thing as 49. So what I'm trying to say here is, it's not that this is wrong. It is not that this is wrong. It's that just these two expressions are not equal to each other. If you find 3 squared plus 4 squared, just you just have to square the 3, square the 4, and add them up. And if you find 3 plus 4 and all of that squared, you cannot apply the exponent to each one of the numbers inside of the parentheses. You have to add them, and to that result of the addition, then you apply the squared or whatever exponent you have. Another case of creativity that never paid off was with the other multiplication property of the exponents. When you're multiplying numbers with the same base number and different exponents, that equals the same base number and the addition of the exponents that you were multiplying. A raised to the power of n plus m. Now, if you're performing addition, you cannot go and have the same base number and then multiply. You see what I did here? I had an addition here and then I go and I multiply here. That is not a, that is not correct. Simply because this does not equal this. Or sometimes in the confusion or without for being careless, I saw the addition here and I left the same property on the other side. This only works is only equal to a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m with addition you cannot do e you cannot equal it to this expression on this side here i want to show you that a raised to the power of n plus a raised to the power of m does not equal a raised to the power of the multiplication of the exponents or a raised to the power of the addition of the exponents. Now two is going to be the base number for all of these operations. Here we have two cubed plus two squared. Two cubed plus two squared is the same thing as eight plus four, which equals 12. Now I have, if I have the number two and I raised it to the multiplication of the exponents that becomes 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 3 times 2 which is equal to 3 
to 2 raised to the power of 6 and 2 raised to the power of 6 is 24 is 64 which is different than 12 of course and if I add the exponents that becomes 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 2 which equals 2 raised to the power of 5 or 2 to the fifth power and that is 32 each one of these expressions are different you cannot change in addition where you have the same base numbers and different exponents to just to just one base number and the multiplication or the addition of the two exponents what you have to do if you find yourself in this situation is just square uh, I mean apply the exponent to one number then apply the exponent to the other number and then the result of those application of the exponents you add up but you cannot try to get creative like I did and start inventing new exponents it's just not the same thing in this case multiply the exponents and then take the result of that but you cannot go and say that this can split up into 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 4 doesn't work in this direction doesn't work in this direction they are just simply not the same thing just a mistake that I did and you now will not make it because I showed you how to do it correctly <laughs> now in the case 3 the third case what I used to do was just get crazy and start combining all of the properties of multiplication and making a mess out of them these two uh, properties of multiplications are correct now if you have different base numbers and the same exponent that can be a multiplication of the base numbers all of that raised to the power of n which is the exponent that what you had in the multiplication if you have the same base in the same base numbers you keep the base numbers and you add up the exponents now what I did was that I found myself in a situation where I have different base numbers and different exponents here there is no property that applies so what I did was I took the AB from the first property and I took the n plus m from the second property and as you can imagine all that I got was a mess what you have to do is pay attention to the properties and don't mix them up like I used to do so let me show you that this is different 3 cubed plus 5 squared here we see different base numbers different exponents 3 cubed is 8 5 squared is 25 this equals 200 if I do this horrible thing here I have to multiply first multiply first 2 times 5 equals 10 then adding the exponents that is 5 so 10 to the power of 5 is 100,000 imagine that you were calculating something with money in one way you got 200 whatever dollars in the other way you got one hundred thousand dollars that's a big mistake if you're working with cash and I would not like to do that so this is just the result of confusion and not paying attention this is a complete disaster and a mistake and I hope you don't do it because now I showed you what happens when you do this you get something very different on this side something very different on this side so in general remember this property applies only to multiplication if you have addition you cannot first add the numbers and then apply the exponents that is a mistake that again it's not that this it is not that this is wrong or that this is wrong it's just that these two things aren't equal to each other same thing here if you're adding the same base numbers with different exponents you cannot say that you can take the same base number and multiply or add the exponent okay this does not equal this okay they are different nothing wrong with this nothing wrong with this a disaster saying that these two are equal that is wrong that is a big mistake
and in the third case there's no special property here okay if you have two different base numbers you have two different exponents you just have to work with this number with the with this base number and this exponent then work with this base number and this exponent and then multiply the result from here with the result from here or in this case again you cannot separate this into a multiply into a times n multiply by b times m this is a disaster you only you have here what you have to do here is add the exponents multiply the base numbers and to the result of the multipli of this multiplication apply the result of this addition because they are different base numbers and they are different exponents